Kate here at Vox Days Bristol and I am joined by organiser John Bradford. Thank yes. you very much for taking the time to chat to us today, John. That's my pleasure. And can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Okay, so I run High Tech Bristol and Bath. It's a membership community interest company for the high tech cluster around Bristol and Bath area. And we organise special interest groups on behalf of the community. And it was our cloud computing interest group that asked me to put on Vox Days. And what is it about the Bristol tech community you think that makes it so unique? I mean, there's a really great atmosphere and also a really nice rich mix of technologies that we're seeing represented. I think that's it. So within Bristol and Bath, you've got everything from the large global corporates, Oracle, Capgemini, good examples, through the mid-sized companies, um, got like Scott Logic, Bright Pearl, um, down to the scrappy startups, um, Cluster HQ, Jetstack, and they're all here in Bristol. It's a fairly tight geographical location, so everybody can meet up in places like the Watershed, which is great for the social scene. Um, and you've also got a long uh, history of microelectronics, high-tech development, um, a lot of the underlying engine that drives the, the new cloud computing world um, was developed here in Bristol. So the folks that are now developing the new stuff, the, the containers, cloud architecture, agile development, all started off doing the fundamental engineering here in Bristol, and it's that engineering foundation that makes Bristol different to some of the other cities that are doing cloud. Yeah, I suppose as well, like you say, geographically, it is interesting that you've got links to so many kind of traditional research areas. You've got a great university here. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, we've got three three top universities in Bristol, Bath, and the University of the West of England, all of whom have got strong engineering and computer science backgrounds. So we draw heavily from them in the startup community. Um, and that's why we had Professor David Cliff doing the keynote here to set the scene of what's going on in Bristol. Um, we've got collaborations between the university and the city council for Bristol's open building gigabit, terabit networks. Um, we've got some other tech community using that to develop their next generation of hardware and software. Um, and that whole interaction between industry and academia, um, it happens in lots of cities. We like to think we do it slightly differently here. I suppose as well, unlike London, you don't have these massive amounts of money. It's kind of more people doing kind of, they're doing a lot more leverage in their companies. But it's really like the small scrappy startups. Yeah, you've got the engineers here, and we like solving problems. So it's less about um, some of the glitz and the glamour, and much more about developing the code, making the stuff work, making stuff scalable. It's, it's the bits of code that everybody else ends up using. And I noticed today, just from doing interviews, some of the speakers are really, really technical talks, actually very in-depth. Some yeah. conferences you get a bit lower level, more introductory stuff. Mm. Uh, but it was really, really nice to kind of have that really expert oversight on some new developing trends. Absolutely. Was this a conscious decision? Absolutely, absolutely. When we put the call for papers out, um, the, 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 the justification was very much to pitch to a technical audience. And when we rated all the papers that came in, we rated them for content and entertainment value, and then we double-weighted the content. So the focus was always on the technical content, on the technical computing, to make sure we're the leading edge of, of development in cloud computing and, and Java technologies, because that's what's drawn the people, and that's why we've got 250 people to our first conference. And for you personally, what are the most interesting areas for you looking ahead that you'd look to look on if you do another box series? <laughs> I think it's, it's the, the rise of cloud computing as a, a broadly understood and used paradigm of computing. Like everybody's been talking about cloud and quite often it's just somebody else's server. Or the cloud wars, which the people... Cloud wars, yeah. Yeah. And, and cloud washing what have been traditional technologies. What we're seeing now is it's actually being used by companies in the way that it was originally intended. And a lot of that technical development is going on here in Bristol. We're now seeing companies like Just Eat and Ovo building out major businesses on cloud architecture, cloud infrastructure that's developed here. The research is continuing to happen here, so we're seeing those ongoing developments. And I think for the future, it's, it's if you like, the breaking out from that cloud echo chamber into just this is how you do software in the 21st century. As opposed to let's compete ourselves to be the biggest provider and get the mind share, it's now like what can we actually do to address these issues that cloud is capable exactly. of doing? And I think it's, it's very indicative that you've got Oracle, HP, IBM, Capgemini all very well represented here. They all recognise they've got different things to offer. 
no one's going to own the entire space. And it's not necessarily competition head to head, it's more what niche works for people. Yeah, and, and you know, different organisations have different technology stacks, but actually they draw from the same skills pool when they're looking for good engineers. Um, and that's why the cloud special interest group here in Bristol has taken off, is because we've been able to pull together Oracle, IBM, uh, HPE, uh, Justy, Cluster HQ, Jetstack, all those guys recognise that having the best engineers here in Bristol is what makes Bristol fantastic. But we need to keep them here. The more engineers we've got, the better it becomes. I hope that will bring more people to Bristol because you really sold it. Absolutely. Well, that's, that's why we're here. We're bringing them to Bristol. <laughs> thank you very much for chatting to us today. Fantastic. And thank you for an amazing event. Thank you very much.